Hello! So, today we are going to be learning how to paint a plant. Here's my plant. Um, and you will need paper or thick card, um, paint brushes, pencil, rubber, a glass of water, paints, a paint palette, or a plate that no one minds you getting paint on. So the first thing we need to think about when we're painting is what uh, colours we're going to use. Um, and you've probably all seen one of these before, a little colour wheel. So the things we need to think about are what are our primary colours. So we've got red, yellow and blue are our primary colours. And then to make more colours, you mix those. So if you mix red and yellow, you'll get orange. If you mix red and blue, you'll get purple. If you mix yellow and blue, you'll get green. And what we're going to teach you first is a little bit about um, shades and tints. So now that we're wanting to make green, if you haven't got a green colour, you'll need to mix uh, a yellow and a blue to make green. So we're just going to assume that you've got a green. So if you've got your green, just get a paintbrush and do a little square. So this is the green that I've got, it's quite a dark green. Now, if I want to make this green lighter to maybe match the green of my plant, I will get a white. My white. And mix that my green. If I pop that down on the paper, you can see that that has made it lighter. Another way to change the tone is if you actually wanted to make this green darker, you would add a bit of black. Put black on my palette. And do the same of adding a bit of black to my original green colour. And you'll see we've now got a really dark green. So that's the process of changing the shades and tints of your colours. So we added white, you can continue adding white and make it lighter. The same with black, you can continue adding black to make your green darker. The other thing you can do is change the hue. So a hue basically means um, a different colour variation of your green. So this green is maybe quite blue in its hue. So I might decide actually I want it to be a little bit warmer. To change the hue, um, you take your original green and this time I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. And by adding yellow, I've now got a completely different green, a nice warm yellow toned green. So this is the way that you can develop and add different greens. So you might have one green, but if you've got different colors like yellow that you can add to it or white or black, you can actually end up getting quite a variety of greens and this will help you to be able to paint your plant. So now that we've done that, I'm going to show you how we're going to draw our plant. 
the first thing I would do is look at your plant. If I just scan up, you can see that it's got big leaves which have got three different colours of green. It's a sort of cream colour, a light green and dark green. And what I'm going to do first is draw the leaf shapes, because that's the most important part of the plant. Draw this out in pencil. Don't worry about being completely accurate or it looking exactly like the plant in front of you. But just remember like sheep. Leaf shapes look different from different angles. So this is what a leaf looks like from the front. So it's a bit of a squished heart. And then you get the nice long leaves as well. So now that I've drawn my leaves out, I want to think about the stem. So the stem goes right down the middle. And that's where the pot will be. So now that I've drawn my stem, I need to connect my leaves to my stem. Like that. So we've got our plant connected. And the next thing we need to do is draw our pot. Do a little semicircle. the lines down and add another semicircle. So that helps create the curve of the bottom of the pot and the curve of the top. And remember your stem will go into the middle of that circle. You'll want to rub out the top line of that semicircle. And there you go. You've got your blood pot. So Next thing I need to do is when you're painting, you want to think about what colours are lightest because it's easier to go light to dark than dark to light. Okay, so now we'll start painting. So like I said, we're going to start with light colours and I want to start with this sort of cream colour. So to do that, I've mixed a little bit of yellow in with white and to check that I'm happy with that. Take a little scrap piece of paper and try it on there. If I'm happy with that, I'm going to transfer it to my painting. So I'm going to paint all over the leaf. Like that. Try and stay in between your lines. So there we go. So I'm then going to start with the slightly lighter green because that's the next darker colour. And that up and again just try it on your paper I think if you're happy with that then go ahead and start painting that on now I'm trying to keep this color in the center the same as my plant because I want the cream to be able to be noticed on the edges Okay, so we've got our cream and our light green added to our plant. Next thing I want to do is add the darkest green, which is in the center of the leaves. So what I'm gonna do is the green that I made for the middle here, I'm going to just add 
a little bit more darker green to that. Test it out on my paper. I'm happy that that's dark enough. I think I'll add a little bit more. Try it again. Yeah, and I'm much happier with that. So again, now that I'm painting over the top of this, I want the light green and the cream to still show through, just like it does on the plant. So now we've got our three colours on our leaves. The next thing we need to do is get the stem painted in. Now the stem is um, generally always darker than the rest of the plants you want. Quite in my case it's still a dark green so I'm going to use the original green that I had which is quite dark and paint in the stem. And then we want to connect the leaves in. Just like that. And then the next bit we need to do is our soil. Soil, as we all know, is brown. You'll most likely have a brown in your paints. So we're going to follow that semicircle, not quite to the edge, we want to leave a little bit of space. So these techniques that I'm teaching you are all things you can use to paint other stuff. It could be like your favourite toy, it could be your pet. The same rules apply really. You know, if you've got a, a grey dog with black spots, then you're, um, you need to paint it grey first before you do the black spots. Always go with the lighter colour first. <laughs> 